what's up cousins welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing today we are about to make something i've never made before i came up with this recipe from the iag farms it's all about god channel with the banana bread recipe y'all saw me do that now i'm going to turn that same recipe into a banana bread cookie recipe i wrote down how i wanted to do it and now i'm just trying to see if i can manage to get this together so i got my bananas to be brown by putting them in the oven on 450 degrees and now i'm just peeling putting them in the bowl and then i'll start mashing them up and adding the ingredients so feel free to join in and do it yourself or write it down for later um, however it goes y'all these cookies were better than i thought once you get your bananas mushed real good then I started with my wet ingredients, which is my vanilla. I used one tablespoon of vanilla. Now I'm just going over my recipe that I wrote down. Next, I'm using softened butter, one and a half cups of butter. Now, I could not find my second cup measure so I'm using a half measure so that's why you see me scooping three times but it is one and a half cups of softened butter next I'm gonna add my sugar and brown sugar so I'm gonna give this a good whisk to get it all mixed up together and then I'm gonna add one cup of white one cup of brown that's to start off I will be adding more of the brown and the white sugar but I did that because I wanted to taste it later I didn't want it to be too sweet I wanted it to be just sweet enough you want to mix that up really well before moving on to your next ingredient once you've got that done it's time to add two eggs to your batter mix well if you haven't noticed I mix after each ingredient I'm checking my recipe once again now it's time to add your flour so I'm using all-purpose flour I'm, I started off with three cups is what I thought I would need, but I based it off of the thickness, the runniness of it, whatever, and I added flour to it and stirred after each time I added flour. So first I'm starting with three cups. After each scoop, I mix it, then add another cup, then mix it, then add another cup, and then if I need more, then I'll add more flour to it. my banana bread recipe that I did at the end we will mix together the sugar and the, the butter to dab and put dollops on top of the banana bread batter well I did that also with this but I didn't have to do it a lot because when I put the brown sugar in this batter to mix up I still had little pockets of brown sugar that I knew would bake into the cookie Add the salt to the um, batter so now I'm adding my salt I'm using like a kosher salt and I only use I believe one teaspoon I would definitely put the ingredients down in the description box so you'll know exactly what I used and then next ingredient that I'm going to use is the baking powder Sure you mix your batter well so now I'm checking the batter one more time to see how loose it is and it needed more flour so I added more flour and I eventually added a little bit more baking powder to it like one extra teaspoon of baking powder as well 
this was the last cup of flour that I um, used that I just got through stirring up and then I added um, more sugar one cup of white and one cup of brown sugar so now it was time to take this experiment and see if it actually works so I got the pan buttered it up and then I started scooping large scoops of the dough onto the pan because I wanted large cookies For this first batch, I decided I would do the dollops of the brown sugar mixed with the butter. So I got that mixed up in a container and then I added that to the top of my cookies. So while the first batch was in the oven cooking, I was looking at them and I'm like, I don't like the thinness of them. I want them to be a little fluff to them. So to the batter, I added one cup of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to show you what the cookies were looking like when I took them out the first batch. And this is why I did the second batch like that. But they both came out just fine and they both taste delicious. I apologize, I had the camera angle turned wrong, but you guys... I was thinking they weren't gonna be right. My son was like, I don't know. But then I tasted them and I, I touched them and they were soft and they tasted just like banana bread. I think what threw me off was, girl, you wasn't making a banana bread, you making a banana bread cookie. So I was expecting the cookie texture, but it still had the banana bread texture and I absolutely enjoyed it. The next hand you're about to see is my son. <laughs> he took it. So with or without the dollop of the sugar and the butter in the center, it still tastes good. You still have pockets of that sugar throughout the cookie, even if you don't put that one dollop on. So now I'm just plating them up and hopefully I have the angle right on the next shot. Well, here's a sideways shot. Look how good that look, y'all. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all try this and let me know if you do. So y'all, these banana bread cookies, I thought they didn't come out right, but they did come out right. And it's absolutely delicious. It tastes just as good as the banana bread recipe that I already had on there that I got from IG Farms. Shout out to Megan and Tim. And this cookie is gonna fall apart, <laughs> but I'm gonna pick it up anyway. And I even tried to put the little dollop of sugar with the butter, so. I gotta get some lightning in here. Cookie back. This is good. Mm -hmm. If someone's cooking steak, he ain't gonna give me none though. Because he said I'm not steak here. <laughs> so y'all it's the next day i forgot to actually close the video out the way i normally close the video out but i do want to thank tim and megan for the original recipe that megan got from one of her subscribers and i hope you guys tried this banana bread cookie recipe i'm telling you it's like a you know, the, the banana bread was like a banana cake, honestly. So it was just kind of simple turning it into a recipe for cookies. Because, you know, I have cookie monsters over here. Not really cake monsters. So I'll see y'all in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love. And that is what he would want to do. So caring and sharing. Share this video out. Hit the like button. Helps support the channel help us grow help us reach whatever goals that god has for us and i'll, I'll call you tomorrow okay i'll call you bye